uh, let's talk Group D. Real Madrid, and as everybody pretty much predicted, including our very own Jimmy Conrad, you know, Sheriff, you know, they've had their moment in the sun. It's now to face reality as Real Madrid went 3 nothing. Talk to me just very quickly, JJ, because we did begin the day with Karim Benzema and, uh, you know, a, a very important verdict that came out in terms of this uh, sex tape scandal or whatever it is. I, I, it's insane. Well, what's the latest with that and what, what, what did the verdict end up happening? Yeah, so Benzema has basically been found guilty um, of playing a part in the attempted blackmail uh, of Matthew Valbuena. Uh, basically him advising Valbuena when they were uh, with the French national team together um, has basically been considered, uh, you know, sort of tampering or getting involved with uh, with, with this issue. Mm. Uh, and because of that, Benzema has now been handed a one-year uh, suspended jail sentence. So that, so that means that if he reoffends. Uh, in some way in the in the future, then he will go directly to prison for a year because he has this hanging over him. There's a seventy five thousand euro fine uh, on top of it as well. His lawyer, as lawyer, has already said uh, that they will appeal, uh, and he's confident that uh, he'll be completely exonerated upon appeal. But for the moment, you know, Benzema obviously has to be on his best behaviour because of this. Uh, uh, but you've already had uh, the French Football Federation president Noël Legrette coming out and saying that it's not going to cost Benzema his place in the French national team. Basically, it's up to Didier Deschamps. Didier Deschamps wants Benzema to be part of the French uh, team. So there, there's no chance that this verdict uh, will now re, you know, cost Benzema his place in the uh, with Le Bleu once again. Yeah, it's a proverbial slap on the wrist, basically. Don't do it again, et cetera. And 75000 I mean, that's like, what, his grocery shopping money for a week? Like, I think, uh, I don't think he has to worry too much about uh, that. I think he, uh, I, th I think he keeps that in his uh, pajama pocket <laughs> when he goes out to get some groceries. <laughs> <laughs> it's at the bottom of the sofa when he can't find any money. Absolutely. Um, all right, well, listen, well, Real Madrid does win. 3 nothing. David Alaba, Alaba scores uh, Madrid's first Champions League goal from a direct free kick since 2018, JJ. 2018, Isco against Roma was the last time they did that. But the battle for first place goes right down to the wire because Inter Milan won 2 nothing against Shakhtar. So Real Madrid against Inter Milan, that has to be the tastiest of matches in the final day of the group stages. Yeah, I mean, it does. Uh, it, it does look interesting. I'm I'm happy for Sheriff in the way that this has worked out because, yeah, uh, you know, they took a bit of a beating, but also at the same time, you know, they're already guaranteed to continue their European adventure and go into the Europa League. So, yeah, you know, that's that's quite heartwarming. I, I think we discussed it in the preview pod. So disappointed with Shakhtar Donetsk this season. One goal scored in five matches. Uh, honestly, it's uh, you know they they might as well have not even bothered turning up. But no, that that does it. It, it is really um, really fascinating to to see that Real Inter matchup coming into the final day. It keeps things interesting in terms of who finishes top, who finishes second. Uh, you know, we spoke a bit about it uh, earlier with uh, City and PSG. It doesn't really matter as long as you get yourself into the knockout phase, so that now both of these teams are already guaranteed that. You know, perhaps they'll mix things up a bit, experiment, rotate. Uh, you know, put a bit of focus on what's going on domestically, and we'll actually see. Uh, you know, the the two teams go at it without feeling as much pressure, which you know might create you know quite an attractive match at the end because it is still two very good teams with with a lot of very good players on uh, on on display. <laughs> 